In November of 2018, a tragic event had occurred. Police and EMTs were called to the scene and found a man that had died from a drug overdose. For privacy reasons, we cannot give any information out on the man who lost his life, the location of the space, or release the interview with the employees in which this location is at. However, we have been called here to investigate the claims of paranormal activity that the employees have experienced. Apparitions, shadow figures, new employees on night shift only lasting a month or two before quitting. We've been given access to this space to see if it's the man who lost his life here, or if it's something much darker. Danny Strakel from Spirit Walk Paranormal here. We are here to investigate this undisclosed location that we have been given access to by the uh, authorities that are in charge of this space. I just heard some stories from the supervisor and he was telling me that there has been more than one overdose that I was only aware of. There's actually been three overdoses and there are spirits throughout this building. And he was telling a story that one woman was actually coming here to actually look at this space to purchase, but she said that she didn't like the feeling in here. She recommended for this place to get torn down. There's something evil here. There's actually claims that there are, they, they are having a snake problem and the snakes generate and manifest from this area. They always find them in this service corridor behind the space that we're in. And right now we're getting ready to start our investigation. We've had static cams rolling for over 20 minutes while we went and talked to the supervisor. So we're going to check that evidence later, but now it's time to start our official investigation here at our undisclosed location. So we're going to get into that right now. After setting up our static cams, we make our way to talk with the supervisor. Almost immediately after, a disembodied voice is captured saying, a victim. Then the door that we exited out of seems to be pushed from the inside like someone or something was trying to follow us.
so I'm not sure if anyone's gonna recognize this area. We're hoping to keep this as low key as possible, but we are gonna do some experiments in here. Got the spirit box, we got the EMF detector. We're gonna start our investigation uh, in the bar area and then work our way back to the last victim um, of overdose and the drug epidemic who lost his life here. So I have to go fix this camera up real quick. It's a little dark in here. Make sure you guys watch your heads around these blue lights. Especially you, Danny. They're right at head level. Those ones. Oh, yeah, because the tables. the tables. So right now I have the EMF detector. I have it on silent. We're just going to do a baseline reading. I don't want any loud beeping um, while we're trying to capture a clear audio. Any loud beeping um, while we're trying to capture a clear audio. Disembodied voices are unknowingly captured on my camera's audio while I'm preparing the electromagnetic field detector to the proper settings. While this is going on, the GoPro we have set up in the kitchen area captures something. A strange anomaly appears to come out of the wall and floats effortlessly across the room and then off frame. I highly doubt this is dust or a bug due to its odd shape and its horizontal non-erratic movement. Could this be a spirit manifestation? And as the anomaly appears, another disembodied voice is captured on audio. Is this a spirit telling us the man was sick after we had just captured a voice saying dope sick? Yo, I just felt a cold fucking breeze. There's no cold air in here. No. It's humid as hell. The thermostat's set to 80. Yeah, I just felt, I just felt a cold breeze. There we go. That's the light I'm looking for. So just to let everybody know, we have a reading of 79.3 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's about what the temperature is set to. To anyone who's in this space with us, my name is Danny. I've been called here because there's been claims of activity that you're stirring up in this building, disturbing people, watching people, following people. Marcus. He's been here for quite some time. You may have recognized him. You may have encountered him at some point. If you would like to interact with us, talk with us, now is your chance to do it. Now is your chance to prove that you're here with us. And if you can make a knock, make a knocking sound on one of the walls, if you speak into any of the microphones attached to the cameras, Please do so. We want to hear your voice. We want to hear your story. 
We want to hear your voice. We want to hear your story. Or you can come touch this device in my hand. This will let us know that your energy is connecting with us, that we can interact with you. This is a 0.0, .0 baseline with 79.7 degrees Fahrenheit right now. try Try not to blind myself at the same time so this is the cooler where they say that they get a lot of activity doesn't have the greatest smell in it either. That smell keeps traveling. See, it doesn't smell like this when we were in here earlier. That smell keeps traveling. See, it doesn't smell like this when we were in here earlier. Here, would you hold this, bro? You were in here with me earlier, too, did you? I didn't, I didn't step in here. But I mean, it smells like it out there. Did you smell it out there? I smelled it out there. Is it smell in here? Earlier though, did you smell it out there? Yeah. Honestly, I, I, I didn't. I didn't smell it in here. Honestly, I didn't. I didn't smell it in here. This is the bathroom where the man lost his life. The man lost his life. And I was here the night that this person passed away. I was in this area and I actually saw him get gurneyed out. And uh, I've always felt some sort of personal connection to this guy ever since I got into paranormal investigating seriously. And I feel like he's made his presence known around the area to others. Obviously, he has. But I'm gonna. What the fuck was that, Randy? It wasn't me, dude. I don't know what the fuck that was. someone trying to talk to us. We're all holding little boxes with lights on and we're all welcome to talk into them. 
Yeah. The man who uh, overdosed in the bathroom, we heard that you were a cook. But there's rumors of you being a bartender. Can you let us know which one is true? Can you tell us your name? And why would you want to do something to yourself like that? Turn to drugs? It just shut the fuck off. It's think, never shut off. I don't think it liked how you asked that question. I got a very, I got a sort of a bad vibe when you asked that. We mean, uh, we mean no disrespect being here. I don't mean to make you angry. I just want to know answers for the people that are experiencing you. Do you want us to go? Well, we keep right here and that. That's the corner where I keep getting a weird feeling from. While asking questions directly to the man who passed away, something turns off the EMF detector with brand new batteries in it. I've never had it shut off before as it will constantly remain on until you manually turn it off. Moments later, what appears to be the same anomaly appears back on the GoPro we have set up coming from the direction it exited. Is this proof of an intelligent spirit manifestation? Back here, where that noise keeps coming from, yeah. That's the direction, this whole back corner of the restaurant just has a bad vibe, man. You know where it feels the heaviest to me? Right here on this corner. No. Where you feel it? The bar. The bathroom. Yeah, definitely. See, I was thinking the bar, man. Really? That and on that side of the kitchen where the stoves would have been? Yeah. Like I felt like someone was standing behind me. That's hot side. Hot side's where it goes down. You're a lot. You were a line cook. Maybe this guy will have a little bit more connection to you. Is it okay if I come on the line? Man, this is a small kitchen. I thought Outback's kitchen was small. This is a small kitchen. I thought Outback's kitchen was small. Did you just touch off my head when I went over by the stoves? Yeah, I thought I saw something reach down at you. Yeah, I felt it. You want me to give you a hand clicking? Is that why, is that why you were in the position you were in? Oh, maybe overworked a little bit. Maybe you didn't want to go down that road, but it made things a little bit easier. I get it. I work right across the way there. My friend Danny here used to work there with me. He was there on the day that you had your last shift here. I don't think you ever really got the clock out. I think you're doing some overtime, buddy. Is it okay if we go back to the bathroom for a second? was there for you in your last moments and if it's all right we'd like to be where you spent those moments.
As Marcus makes his way back to the bathroom where the man lost his life, two disembodied voices are captured. What makes this evidence more compelling is you can hear the bassy, low-end frequencies in Marcus's voice almost immediately after the voices are captured. What's the temperature reading? It says it's the same. I felt cold. Like... Like goosebumps. I shut the door and give us some privacy. Temperature's not moving at all. At all. I'm gonna shut the door just for a moment so we can have some privacy. Just act like you're shutting it. Step away from it. It might be detecting you. If you're there, touch that red wire coming out of the top of that black box. Would you like us to go out to the bar? It's getting warmer. It got a lot warmer. It got two degrees warmer in there. A little bit of a temperature spike. Still nothing on Millie Jones. I just heard something behind my left ear. This. This doesn't feel good. Just move your head back like that. Now your hair is below your hand in your shadow. And mine, mm, my hand wasn't back, hand. my hand back, my hand wasn't back that way. Yeah, but I'm, I'll have to look back on that. Do you know what a spirit box is? Because if you do, Do 
Do you keep turning my device off? Do you not want us to... It's blue. Are you out here with us? Dude, it got super hot again. Why do you keep shutting this device off? I've never had issues with it before. Standing right at the bar, bro. And you know what? This is where this is where I'm so I'm standing. Are you standing at the bar? You need a drink? Is that what you're trying to tell us? We brought something for you. 82.9, 83.1 fluctuation degree, but it's rising in temperature. Like so, that sound? Does that sound familiar to you? This place was a bar. I'm gonna set it here for you so you can take a drink if you like. Drink as much as you want, bud. It's on me. I have a cigarette if you'd like one of those. I have a cigarette if you'd like one of those. you showing yourself? That's a real strong wind. What was that? Oh, I guess the security guard come through the door. It's gonna be. So we just want to make note that the sound that you just heard was possibly security coming through the service doors. You all right, Dan? Dan, good. Boy, that's not getting strong now. What was that? That is something like pounding. The camera fell off. Yeah. So I just walked into the bathroom and the Sony AX53 that we had running in there. The camera battery is now dead. And I'm hoping I didn't lose any of these files. After something shuts off the Sony AX53 and corrupting the file, which is why we don't have any footage from that time, I put in a new battery. While preparing the camera, a disembodied voice is captured. I left my phone on airplane mode. Would there have been a spike in something that would have caused that? Turn it back on and turn it back off to see if it spikes it. A voice is captured saying, it knows. Is this a spirit telling us that an evil entity knows that we are filming, trying to make contact? Or could it be the spirit of the man giving us a warning? Yeah, you, you want to sit in there? Sit in there by yourself, right on the toilet. I don't want to sit on the toilet. Sit on the toilet, no. get attention. No, oh. that's disrespectful, I don't want to do that. Hold on. Ooh, and it likes you. Zero. 
0, 0.0. Zero point zero If you want to touch that device on the back of the toilet Feel free, let us know that you're here. It'll make a beeping sound if you touch it enough. Whoa. I keep seeing the same thing down there, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, it's what I, I see it almost every single time. So like something's peeking around? Uh-huh. It's on that right side too. Yep. All right, so we're gonna do a spirit box session in here. If you've been, if you've been messing with our batteries, if you've been messing with our batteries, you've been messing with the energy. If you've been messing with our batteries, you've been messing with the energy. And that means that you should have enough energy to talk to us. So for those who are unfamiliar with this device, I don't know if you've watched paranormal shows. I don't know if you've ever been into what we're doing, but this device right here will help you speak to us. It uses radio frequencies and I know you know what they are. So you're gonna come through this and you're gonna tell us why you're here. You're not gonna play no games with me. I want to know why you're here and why these people are seeing you. Who is in this space with us currently? Can you tell us your name? Can you come and speak on this device? What did you do for work here? What did you do for work here? Who is the name of the man who took his life by overdosing in the bathroom? I thought I said we're even, something like that. Am I mean? Awesome. Don't just say mean. I thought I said we're even, something like that. Am I mean? We know you can move around this building freely. I, I can't. Possibly. Possibly. I, I can't. Possibly. Possibly. Have you seen any of us in this building before? We heard a female voice. Can you tell us your name? Did you pass away here? Can you tell me what part of this space you passed away in? Yeah. 
Yeah? He said, yeah. Yeah. Yeah? He said, yeah. Are we close to where you passed away? Whoa. Uh, you hear that? Uh, you hear that? Go back this way. All right, I'm coming back. Are you back here? Is this where you passed away? Tell me your name. Tell me your name. Was this poster hanging in here when you died? Was this poster hanging in here when you died? Is this where you took your last breath? Is that Frederick? That's what it says, it Frederick. You have What did it feel like when you died? Did you pass away easy? Did you pass away easy? You're wrong. You're wrong. I just... Marcus, is there something like right here on my neck? Anything? Like a, like a dust thing? Dust, anything touch me? No, I don't see anything. It felt like a, the lightest touch on my neck. I felt something like just brush my head. When I, were, it was when I went to bend down, it would do like this. I felt something go... It was just like, it was just like, like yep, just like, like the lightest touch. That's what I felt on my neck. Are you touching us? How many of you are with us in here right now? How many of you are with us in here right now? Are you moving around somewhere in this space? In this part of the building?
there something evil here? kitchen in a long time. If there's someone holding the spirits in your back and talking, let them talk. We want to talk to them. There's something evil here holding them back. Make them be. We'd like to be your first customers in a couple of years if that's all right. You come and talk to us. That's all over with us. That's all over with us. Are you saying hi? If you want us to communicate with you, you're gonna have to speak. You're gonna have to give me something more. I need more than just a word. I need I need some sentences here, some questions. Is the blue light on? No, but I just saw, like, ah, damn it. So I do. It was in the hallway, and you can pull Spectre's body, and it's still running. I saw a fucking white mist shoot out of the bathroom. And you know how you said you just saw legs? Yeah. It was just like the bottom chunk. Did I just see you come out of the bathroom? 
Did I just see you come out of the bathroom? Should we go back out to the bar? like saying a sentence. Talk to us on this device. You want to talk? I need you to come in clear. Some of like glasses clinking. Can you, can you knock on a wall? Can you talk to us on this device? You want to talk? I need you to come in clear. Some of like glasses clinking. Can you, can you want to go back to the bar? Or are we in your booth that you like? You need to come through clear if you want to speak with us. What? Where did that just go off? Right here? Yeah, why? Picking up echoes? It shouldn't be. No, like echoes. Like the glasses clinking, the music clinking. Oh. Are we hearing echoes? It could just be radio static. Or if someone can't, if they're having trouble communicating with us, or they just. I think they're having trouble communicating with us, or they just. I think, I think we should go back to the bar. Seems like this is the spot where we're going to get our most communication. What was the word that you just said? Oh, oh, oh. Also, I'd like to document, I see a lot of dust flying around in front of the camera. Okay, yeah, I see, like this, this yeah. dust. Who was in the bar with us? Outside looks like they are jumping a car. So if we see headlights or anything come from this direction, I just want to make a note. This is a uh, there's some vehicles out there. I know it's probably spirit balls, but I feel like I see a run of water and I can't tell what's going to be. It's uh I was thinking the same thing, it's that. Uh... So let's take a break. <laughs> So let's take a break. Oh, 
Oh no. Ready to take your light off of it? Is someone on the other side of the glass in the in the dining area? Is someone on the other side of the glass in the in the dining area? With your sickness, I'm gonna shut the spirit box off for a minute, okay? I'm gonna try different means of communication. Get ready, guys, because it's gonna get quiet. So now we have a different device, one that's not so noisy. It's sitting right here on the bar. It's a digital recorder, it records audio. I'm assuming, since you've all died within recent years, you know exactly what this thing does. There's a red light that you can come and touch and speak into. If you're here in this space with us, I've already explained what this device does. Can you come in and speak into it? Tell us your name, what you're doing here. Are you walking around this building? Are you here to harm anyone? Is something keeping you here or keeping you from speaking? Is something keeping you here or keeping you from speaking? Is there something evil in this building, in this space that won't let this area thrive? Does it go back before construction of this building? Is this land sacred? Can you make a knocking sound like this? Can you finish this knock? Can you finish this knock? Holy shit. Oh. What if we do it outside of the bathroom? 
was, we, uh, I keep hearing noises coming from back there. Well, that was my next move. Go do it right there. Yeah. All right, bud. We're going to do a digital recorder session in here. If you've uh, spoke to us out there, I'm sure you can do it in here. So let me know if... Uh, let us know if you can speak to us on this thing. We'd like to hear your voice. Digital recorder sesh in the overdose bathroom. This is your last chance. I don't know if I'll be able to come back here. So if you want to talk and tell us your name and your story, you better do so. I'm not commanding you, I would just like to know your name and your story. Can you tell us what drove you to to do that type of stuff? Was it this place? Was it your life? The situations you were put in? What were your final thoughts? What were your final thoughts? Do you remember any of us? Did you see me as your body was being gurneyed out of this building? Did you know that I was watching? Did you know that I was watching? I'm sorry that you're not here anymore. I feel the sadness in here now. Earlier I was just angry. Shifting. Do you blame yourself for this restaurant closing? Is that why there's a sense of shame in here? Is that why you haven't left? How old were you? I can hear whispering too. Are you trying to communicate with me and Marcus? After our EVP session, we do a live playback and hear a couple of responses, but can't make them out in the moment. So we decide to do one more session before ending the night. So I'm going to give you the floor. Feel free to uh, drain some batteries if you'd like. Is your name Frederick? Can you knock on something if your name is Frederick? Or 
if we have your name wrong, can you tell us on this device right now? Is Frederick the man that sold you your last bag? Or if we have your name wrong, can you tell us on this device right now? Is Frederick the man that sold you your last bag? Thank you for all the communication you gave us tonight. To anyone who was there, if, if you did come through tonight, whether it be through the spirit box or through this recorder, thank you. And if you have anything left to say, please say it within like the next 20 seconds. Thank you. After an intense night of investigating, we decide to get ready to head out. But a spirit has one final thing to say to us before we leave. Ooh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it'll it'll do that. All vibrations. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it'll it'll do that.